Hey guys, I'm back for another video. <coughs> um, please excuse my voice and my nasal me, my nasally uh, sounding stuff. I don't really know what's going on. I think I have allergies. It could be a cold. Who knows? Um, <coughs> it kind of just happened. Um, so before we begin today's video, I just wanted to let you all know that I am getting a camera. I don't know when that's going to happen. But I am. I just started looking. Uh, well, I really haven't actually started looking. <coughs> um, I want to. Um, just because I hate the quality of my videos. Um, my webcam sucks. So I am planning to get a camera. Um, so, <coughs> today's video is going to be all about discrimination and um, my experiences that I've had with it. Um, because I know there are a lot of people out there who have dealt with it or are still dealing with it, and I wanted to share my experiences, just to let everybody know that they're not alone, um, and um, probably at the, end of this, at the end of this video, I am going to give you a few tips to um, deal with it, or how to deal with it, rather, or <coughs> what to do if you're experiencing it. Um, please excuse my throat clearing. Um, <coughs> my uh, voice is uh, going in and out, so I gotta clear it. Um, oh, and I'm drinking some iced tea, so I might be drinking here and there so that I can clear out my throat. Um, <coughs> anyway, on with the video. So, I think I'm going to start in chronological order, so from elementary school to now, in college. Um, so in elementary school, there really wasn't much of anything, um, except for the fact that my school didn't have a ramp put in when I started, um, school in the back, in the back, uh, of the school by the playground, um, so my family and I <coughs> fought for that, and it took them three years to finish building the, um, ramp, and, but then I could finally use it, and then other than that, um, I think the only thing was that my friends, some of my friends no longer sat with me, and, um, they chose not to be friends with me anymore, um, and I don't know what necessarily that was about, whether it be, um, the fact that I was in a chair, or, um, or just them being catty girls, I'm not really sure. Um, <coughs> and then in junior high, there were a couple of instances, um, especially with, uh, a teacher of mine that I had in eighth grade, there was a few with her, um, so every day she would, uh, mark me absent from class because I would go to the bathroom in between my science class and her class, and, um, and I would be like 10 minutes late because I was going to the bathroom. And um, so I would come in and she'd be like, oh, I already marked her absent. Now I have to change it. And I would think to myself, yeah, you do. And she would do that. Uh, she did that <coughs> all through of the year until her maternity leave. Um, and then the next uh, instance with her was when we had to do a Anne Frank presentation. And um, we had to use a smart board. And the smart board was not close enough to me, so I asked her to please move it closer to me, and she got all huffy and was like, ugh, now I have to move it, it's going to get all, uh, uncalibrated, um, and she got all pissed off, but I was like, thinking to myself, you know, yeah, you do, you have to move it, uh, you're a teacher, accommodate me, you know, like, deal with it. Um, <coughs> and the only other, uh, instances in high school, uh, where I dealt with kind of discrimination, was, um, the fact that, sorry, that was my phone, um, the fact that my friend, my best friend from high, from kindergarten, she met these, uh, this group of girls who didn't like me solely for the fact that I was in a chair, um, and I tried to become friends with them for two weeks, I sat with them at their table for two weeks, trying to make conversation, and, um, trying to, um, get to know them, but they just didn't want to get to know me whatsoever, so I, um, uh, so much for the, uh, so I stopped hanging out with, uh, sitting with them, and then it got to the point where they had manipulated her to not hang out with me anymore, um, and then, uh, in ninth grade, some girl I went to school with, who I was kind of friends with, um, <coughs> just came into the computer lab and started yelling at me and screaming at me, uh, for some reason, I don't remember exactly what it was. I don't think it was discrimination or anything, but, um, she just screamed at me, and, uh, 
she caused me to have a panic attack the next period with her, which was Corey. So, um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and then high school, sorry, my phone is ringing. Uh, then in high school, there was a couple more instances where, um, uh, there were a little bit more discriminative, discriminative against me, um, especially with the fact that there were not enough handicapped bathrooms, uh, to the point where I had to use the nurse's bathroom, um, and <clears throat> uh, when I would use the nurse's bathroom, I, um, had to wait because, um, other kids would go in front of me, um, and all throughout my high school, uh, experience, which was three years, my parents and I tried to get them to put the little metal, metal plaques on the, uh, nurse's bathroom door that, um, said that handicapped people were first, you know, they're on every, uh, public restroom, so we tried to get that to, um, be put on there, but it was never put on there, um, and then my principal just didn't like me, uh, at all, but he didn't like anybody, um, but he was just particularly rude to me, and, um, it always felt like he was waiting for me to do something wrong. Um, and then, uh, during graduation, uh, he gave me my diploma, shook my hand, and with the biggest smug, tight smile on his face, he said, smile for the camera, and because there was a photographer taking pictures, like, um, and he acted like we were all buddy-buddy, and I just wanted to slap him. Um, but he has since been retired, and I'm very happy about that. Um, now moving on to college, um, I, I've made a whole separate video about this, uh, because this was a huge deal for me, but, um, I will mention a little bit about it here. Um, as you know, I'm a theater major, well, as most of you know, I'm a theater major at my school, and, um, they had decided not to give me, give me my degree last semester, which was my third semester of school, I believe. Could have been this semester before that, I don't really remember. Um, but I think it was last semester. And, um, my advisor had told me that I was not going to get my degree. And, um, I really didn't understand why, just because they had accepted me into the program. Um, and then my third semester told me, oh, uh, you can't get your degree because you cannot physically meet certain requirements that are needed. And, um, I just thought that that was completely wrong and that was utter discrimination to me because, um, they, uh, waited so long to, um, to tell me, and then, well, they accepted me first, and then they waited so long to tell me, um, and so, then I went to the Department of Disability Services at the school, and I spoke to someone, and we got it all straightened out. It took a long time, but I now have an aid for one of the classes that I needed help with, and I am taking that right now, this semester, um, and I will be doing the same thing for the next semester, um, with the next class that I have to take. Um, so I'm just so glad that I fought for, um, what I believe in, and, um, yeah, and then another thing that my, um, college, I think, I don't know if you'd, if you consider this discrimi discrimi discriminatory, but I kind of do, just because, um, of the fact that they never do any plays, or they haven't done any plays, uh, rather, since I've been there, that have anything to do with, um, that have any characters or anything to do with having a physical, physical disability. And, um, I'm not trying to make people feel bad for me or anything, because I really don't want them to. I don't want the sympathy or anything. But the fact that I am the only physically disabled student in my, uh, theater department, and they have not, um, done a play that, um, that has to do with, um, physical disability or a disability of any kind is just kind of, to me, seems like discriminatory. Um, and then also, um, the students that I go to school with are not very nice, but I think, well, in the theater department, are not very nice, but I, I mean, there are some very nice and, uh, students that I'm not trying to uh, put down them or anything. I'm not even trying to put down the kids that aren't nice. And I'm honestly, I think it's just because there, we are in the theater department, and, um, a lot of them think that they're better than everybody else, and so they think they're entitled to be the way they are, which is not the case, but whatever. Um, and then, 
the other students on my campus. I don't really interact with, but they're not very friendly to me anyway. Um, and I think that's just because they don't want to take the time to get to know who I am. Um, because they automatically see my chair and they think that I am mentally retarded. Uh, or mentally challenged, rather. Mentally retarded, I hate that word. Um, but um, it just came out of my mouth. Uh, anyway, so, um, and publicly I'm trying to think of any public, uh, discrimination that I've, uh, experienced. Um, not off the top of my head, I'll probably remember this as soon as I stop recording. Uh, I'll probably remember an instance, but, um, no, most of the people just stare at me, um, and they, or they talk to me very slowly because they think I have, uh, mental problems. So, like, how are you, you know, how is your day going today? And it's like, really? I am not mentally challenged. I can have a normal conversation. Um, but that's not really discrimination, that's just ignorance. Um, so, um, in terms of tips on how to, um, deal with discrimination or how to handle it, um, in all honesty, I just think you should tell somebody and then just keep track of it because, um, you know, uh, depending on how many times it happens, uh, you can then uh, report the person or people that are discriminating against you or, you know, um, and then I think that, um, if nothing changes, just keep reporting those people because eventually it will change and I think that's just the best you can do. Um, but, um, if you have any questions or want to talk to me about, uh, anything, leave me a comment, um, <coughs> if you haven't already and you're watching this, please subscribe. I love getting new subscribers. Um, and uh, it's just, it means the world to me that there are people out there that are watching me. Um, because all I want to do with this channel is help uh, other people with disability and CP and educate others who don't know much about CP or disability. So um, I don't know when my next video will be out. I don't think it'll be this week. I will try to get another video out this week, but um, as you guys know, I'm really just uploading once a week now until I get off for winter break in December. Um, so I'll try to get out another video this week, but I think it'll happen. So uh, if I don't see you later this week, I'll see you on Tuesday or Thursday for my next video. Um, most likely Tuesday. Anyway, I'm going to now, and it's almost, uh, this video is almost at 15 minutes. So I'm going to let you guys go, and um, I appreciate you all watching. And I will see you next week for my next video. Right, bye guys.